Remember Sora from OpenAI and how impressive it was? Well, I just found an alternative called Hyper that does such a good job that it might actually fool you. For starters, Hyper comes preloaded with three major features, creating video with text, animating images, and repainting videos. Developers also promised to add the video extending feature very soon. We don't know the feature set of the real Sora yet since it hasn't yet been released to the public, but I doubt that it would have so much stuff right from the start. Before we actually begin making our own videos with this tool, I think we should at least check out what it can do and what other people have been generating. For example, here's an intro to a cartoon about Transformers. Obviously this video was edited because Hyper can't generate such long videos, but overall I'd say that it nails the aesthetic pretty well. Or here is a compilation of strange videos with insects, nature, and aliens for some reason. What I see is that Hyper is pretty good at keeping things consistent and tied to their physical properties. However, it can also struggle with fingers and moving parts, at least when it comes to generating aliens, because there is another video of people showing the peace sign, and here AI has zero issues with giving them the correct number of fingers. And the way it manages to animate faces, make them authentic, that's something else. These are all celebrities and famous people. And something tells me that Sora would not be able to do stuff like this because of its restrictions. Or here is a video of Batman which looks like a video game animation. What strikes me here is the consistency. Look at the waves at Batman himself at his suit. It would be pretty easy to fool someone into thinking that this is a cutscene from the unreleased game. Obviously this tech is not yet perfect and it definitely struggles with text, but this is a very common problem for all AI image and video generators. Only the best models out there manage to correctly generate text and even they can make mistakes from time to time. So I think we should at least acknowledge that Hyper can do some pretty insane things if you know how to use it. What seems really interesting to me is what it can do when a rookie comes along and starts using it. So let's pretend I know nothing about AI and just try to generate a video of a Typical Chinese street with neon lights and snow falling. I will just type in right here. Then I will click on the settings icon and change the duration of each clip to four seconds. The default value is two seconds and I highly recommend avoiding that. To me, two seconds seems like not enough time to fully see what the AI can do. And you definitely cannot use two seconds of material in your content unless you're doing some sort of a fast montage. I will also leave the aspect ratio at 16 by nine just to keep things a bit more cinematic. And this tool works fully online and all we see is the website. Everyone should have a website but building it from scratch is no small feat. And I just found the AI to fix that. Stunning on AppSumo. Stunning makes website creation so easy. Typically, you'd need to learn how to code, figure out the back end, the front end, design everything. Too complicated, too time consuming. With Stunning, I open up a new chat and type in what I want. AI will then ask me clarifying questions like the name of my business, the brand's tone of voice, and so on. The chat supports many languages, so your website can be not only in English, which is really a rare thing you see in website builders. It even asks for a color theme. And the final web website indeed looks stunning. The layout, the images, the fonts, everything seems great. But in case I want to change something, stunning offers tons of options. I can change all the text and even replace individual images. Stunning lets me choose from over 160 website components like forums, social feeds, and galleries. That's a lot of flexibility. If needed, I can even connect a custom domain for even greater online presence. And if you thought that a fully automated website generation is all it can do, you're wrong here. Stunning also has a special AI marketing module and it is a killer. Can write social media posts, blog posts, and so much more. With it, I can create Google ads and other marketing assets literally in seconds. All that's needed is just a simple prompt. And all the generate assets can be easily downloaded or shared with other team members. And the AI genie basically is an even more powerful writing assistant capable of generating unique and engaging copy in seconds. Simply input the blog topic and let the AI generate a ready to publish blog post. Stunning is an amazing time-saving tool for various business tasks such as ad creation and blog writing. Right now, you can get a lifetime access to Stunning on AppSumo. This is the only place to supercharge your business. Hit the link in the description to get your lifetime license. And while Hyper is generating the video, let's see how other AI generators can perform with the same prompt. So I'm gonna go to Hotshot Beta and paste the prompt. 
want. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with pickup, but here I'm also gonna pick one of the suggested styles just to make things a bit more natural and realistic. If you've never used pickup, it has a couple interesting features such as camera control, negative prompts, the ability to choose the frame rate for the video, the strength of motion, and the consistency of the generate results. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave everything as is and won't change a thing. Okay, the results are in. Hyper first, snow is indeed falling. This is definitely the street somewhere in China. And I just love how it's all framed. I must say the way it sticks to the front is really impressive. Everything that I asked about is in the final video. And the consistency is really surprising. Even if we look at these symbols on the neon sign, they stay pretty much the same in each frame with only minor deviations that definitely will go unnoticed to the naked eye. Sure, I mean, I would have wanted it to be a higher resolution video, but even at this stage, it's more than usable. Especially if you think about all those upscalers that I've shown you in one of our videos with AI tools for content creators. Hotshot actually gives four different videos to choose from. And while I'm showing you some of them, I already see that despite the visual consistency, the quality and the resolution are simply not there yet. Everything seems blurry and unclear. If I squint my eyes, I would be able to say that it is somewhere in China, but Pika did by far the worst job here. I asked for a Chinese street, but it decided to show me a cup of tea with some snow falling. Why? There was nothing in the prompt that could even hint at a cup of tea. Super weird. But you know, I'm not gonna dwell on that. I'm just gonna ask all AIs to show me a bald white man dressed in an orange suit walking through the underwater tunnel. And no, I didn't make a mistake. I don't want a man with a bald head. I want to see whether AI can show the mood and emotions, whether it can go beyond the visual side of things. I'm actually expecting to just see a confident person, but it would be really interesting to see how different AIs would interpret that. Hyper, for example, decided to replace it with glass spheres, and the man that's walking inside the sphere does look pretty confident, like a model on a fashion show. The suit looks really nice with all its wrinkles and movements. Hotshot did a pretty nice job here, at least in three videos out of four, you can kind of guess that the man is walking through the underwater tunnel. The quality is not very good, but definitely better than what I expected to see. Pika is quite surprising here. It it completely ignores that the underwater tunnel should not have any fish or water inside them. So our man in an orange suit is walking with the fish. At least the fish look quite all right. I think it would be much more interesting to see how Hyper can work with multiple people at once. So I'm just gonna ask it to show me people running a marathon, waving their hands with numbers on their chest. This is a really complex request and I'm just gonna show you the results. This looks really, really impressive. For starters, there are many people in the background. All look anatomically correct. The main person in the foreground also looks perfectly fine. Even the number of fingers on his hand is correct. Sure, there are a couple minor artifacts here and there. Some numbers on their shirts are illegible, but overall, the results are very, very decent. Probably this is the best AI generate video I've seen so far, if we don't take Sora into account. Hotshot did a pretty bad job here. People are running backwards and the videos are nothing more than slightly animated photos. Pika fails to deliver once again. I think I don't even have to comment on these results. They look outright terrible. I expected more from Pika. Now let's see how well Hyper can repaint videos. I will upload a video generated by Sora, the one with mammoths. It's only two seconds long, so the processing should be rather fast. I just click on parts of the image that I want to select. Fairly easy stuff. In the prompt window, I can just type in what I want to see, like a Lego transformer walking in the snow. And well, these results are not good. The original video manages to peek through the repainting. The added elements look alien and wildly inconsistent. And overall, this is a pretty terrible result. If I repeat the same thing with our previous video with a running man and try to replace him with an athletic woman in pink top and yellow shorts, the result would be even worse. Just look at it. It looks like someone who used a content aware fill in Photoshop. It looks horrendous and I don't recommend anyone using this feature. At least not yet. It still has a long way to go until it becomes usable, but for super simple videos where you just need to hide something or you don't want to show someone's face, someone's calling me, maybe for these instances, Instances, hyper would be enough. If you're in for high quality results, look elsewhere. 
The last feature that we haven't yet looked at would be animating images. I'm just gonna go to ChatGPT and ask for a couple of JPEG images, one with a shark and another one with a person in a parrot costume. Then I'm just gonna feed the images to Hyper and Pika. Hotshot can animate images, so I think we can take it out of the equation by now. What's surprising is that processing these images takes longer than I expected. Animating one image takes around a solid minute for Hyper, but the result looks really nice. This again is only two second video, but Hyper managed to add more motion to it. It understood that the shark was jumping out of the water, so it continued its movement forward. The ship and seagulls are also animated in regards to their movement direction, and everything stays really consistent visually. I do really enjoy these results. Pika chose a slightly different path and focused on animating the water splashes, adding some blur to everything and pretty much destroying the quality. I can't say that I like these results. So far, Pika has been performing quite subpar, which is a drastic shift from the results it showed us in previous tests. The image of a person in a parrot costume though promises to be much more interesting. All because in the prompt window, I'm going to ask AI to show the person waving hands at us. So AI would have to figure out the way to add a hand to the image where it didn't originally exist. And would you look at that? Hyper found a way. Our parrot person does have a hand now and he's indeed waving it. The image looks really lively and full of motion. The result, I think, is much better than the previous one with the shark. I just wish there was a way for Hyper to generate longer videos, at least 10 to 15 seconds. Pika, unsurprisingly, did almost nothing. I don't even think that we have to discuss this. If I were to give my conclusion Hyper, I'd say that it's mighty impressive. I've tested many AI video generators, but I struggle to recall any that would be so consistent in its results, use them so reliably and maintain the high quality of everything. Sticking to the prompt, style and so on, it definitely needs some improvement, but until Sora comes out, Hyper is the hottest AI video generator. And I still haven't told you the best part about it. It's totally free. For this video, I generate multiple videos already and I didn't have to pay a dime to do it. And when you review as many AI tools as I do, you come to appreciate such acts of generosity. So yeah, great job, Hyper. Hope you liked this video and found it useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.